Well, this outrage continues uh, over their treatment of female hostesses at a male-only precedence club charity fundraiser. New figures suggest discrimination is rife across workplaces in the UK. Research by the Chartered Management Institute found four in five people have witnessed gender discriminatory acts at work. Well, to discuss this further is the Chief Executive of the Chartered Management Institute, Anne Franca. Um, Anne, good to see you. Um, should we be surprised by uh, the figures that are coming out? Well, uh, we should be... Um, horrified by the figures, but we shouldn't be surprised because we know that uh, behaviors that hold women back at work, whether the very high profile uh, behaviors of the President's Club dinner or the more subtle discriminations, are very widespread indeed. And this despite employers' efforts to uh, promote gender equality. Mm. Yep. Progress is being made. The government is forcing large businesses to uh, disclose their gender pay gap. Um, steps are being taken? There are certainly very many positive steps. That's one. But the issue is uh, that when we ask managers, uh, do you really believe that your organization's gender policies are effective? Mm. They say no. And this is true not only uh, in areas of pay and reward, but actually... They're, the worst marks are for the culture of the organization and for mentoring and sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So unless and until we take these things seriously from the top, I'm afraid that the change will be limited. It's a cultural shift because, you know, most people will have the same message and that will be clear. It's wrong. You know, men and, need, and women should be paid equally for the job that they do. Um, that is a given. But the reality is, is very different. And un unless people change their behaviour, their attitudes at home and bring it into the workplace and we're not going to see uh, any change in the future. Well, I agree with that. And what we're talking about here is changing the everyday little behaviours, what we call the broken windows of gender discrimination. And uh, what we want people to do is uh, call it out, mm. challenge it and change it. And the good thing about the President's Club incident was it was called out, it was challenged, and it's now changed, disclosed. But how many men there on the night actually called it out? Well, they didn't. It was the undercover reporter who mm. called it out. And, you and know, if it hadn't been for those undercover reporters, how many more years would mm. this President's Club dinner have been going on? For? Well, it was in its 33rd year, right? So I think, though, that the public reaction to it and um, the swift reaction to say, this cannot happen in 2018, um, and, you know, we're going to shut down the charity... Uh, we're going to give the money back. Uh, the guests that sat on government boards resigned from those boards. So there are consequences. And what's new in 2018 is you can't get away with this, whereas before I think you could. And what we want to see is not just calling it out at big public profile events with undercover reporters like the president's dinner. We want everybody, men and women, to call it out in their own workplace. How easy is it to call this out because there'll be people watching this who will be feeling concerned because they don't want to come across as a person who rocks the boat. Yes, I understand that and I have a lot of empathy. Um, but what I would say is there is in, in, an, an increasing amount of support for people to challenge this behavior. And you can do it in very many different ways. You know, you don't have to do it publicly. You can take people aside. And it isn't, by the way, just the women that are victims of this behavior that should call it out. It is everybody. I don't care if you are a CEO, a receptionist, or a middle manager, male or female. This is what we need you to do, is speak out mm. to change the behavior. Just challenge it. You can do so nicely. We have a lot of tips on our website to help you with this. Yeah, I mean, we were talking to uh, Kate Maltby uh, earlier on on Sky News, who was saying that until men start to call out their peers for their own behaviour. Mm -hmm. This isn't going to change. Mm -hmm. And until we see the boards of companies changing the behaviour and changing the policies and changing uh, attitudes and culture, can you see this changing? Well, I think what needs to happen... Yes, boards are important, but what we're really saying here and what our research shows, it's the leaders themselves. It's mm. the senior leaders that run the company. That's where we need to see the genuine shift in behavior. Our research shows that currently only one in five managers think that their senior leaders take this stuff seriously. Just very briefly, do you think the look of the board needs to change? I think it needs to change more. I think it's changing, but even more than the look of the board, it's the look of the 
people running the companies. And there's a financial incentive. Uh, Absolutely. For companies to be balanced. 21% improvement in performance if you have a gender balanced leadership team. That's a lot. Mm. Thank you very much indeed.